A man who has been dubbed the Portland TriMet Barber has struck again. At around 4 p.m. on February 26, 2020, officers responded to a report that a woman was being followed by an unknown man, later identified as Jared Walter. This woman was supposedly touched in her <clears throat> bathing suit area, and police said that the woman had found a white substance on her leg and hair after she was touched. Jared Walter has a history of both smearing super glue in women's hair, as well as masturbating on them. So your guess is as good as mine about what that white goo was. Gross and or yuck. Jared Walter, who is now 33 years old, was nicknamed the TriMet Barber because in addition to groping, jacking off onto, and gluing women's hair on Portland's public transportation, train system, and buses, he also had a history of cutting women's hair and running away with it. After repeatedly being identified and arrested for these disgusting acts, in 2019, the TriMet organization finally put on their big boy pants and banned him for life from ever using their public transportation services. Which was the first instance of them ever giving a lifetime ban to anyone, by the way. Doug Kelsey, the general manager of TriMet, issued the following statement. The decision to issue this individual a lifetime exclusion from TriMet systems was not one made lightly. As a public transit provider, people rely on our buses and trains to get to jobs and services, but we cannot allow Mr. Walter to continue to ride based on his recent actions and behavior that threatens the safety and well-being of our riders and employees. It's unbelievable to me how many chances were given to this jerk before somebody said, you know, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Maybe we can proactively do something to disrupt this serial public masturbator's habits. Just a thought. Walter was sentenced to two years in jail in May of 2017, but somehow he was out of jail in August of 2018 and found at a Portland rescue mission for homeless people, where he was caught viewing pornography on his phone, including images of women using the restroom. As part of his probation, Walter was forbidden from possessing or viewing any pornographic materials. And by the way, this is not the only instance where he violated his parole. Uh, and that's aside from all the arrests for the new crimes he was committing. So despite Walter not being allowed on TriMet property or within 50 feet of any TriMet stop or station per his parole requirements, the homeless transition project where he was arrested in late February 2020 is located right across the street from a MAC station. There's no word on whether it transpired within that 50-foot perimeter that he was legally not allowed in. He was, however, arrested for assaulting this newest woman. But given Portland's track record, what do you think the chances are he won't be back out on the streets being a weirdo by this summer? We live in an innovative, problem-solving country, or at least we used to. Hell, just today, California State Senator Scott Weiner proposed Senate Bill 888, which, if passed, would give gift cards to methamphetamine addicts every time they provided a clean urinalysis test. So we know politicians are not adverse to new ideas or spending money. Can't somebody come up with a shock collar that zaps this Walter guy if he pulls up you porn on his phone or wanders too close to a bus stop? This story is all fun and games until it's your wife or girlfriend or daughter or mother getting groped or chopping her hair off to get super glue or some homeless guy's sperm out of it. I mean, let's get creative here, people, because the Portland powers that be seem intensely reluctant to keep repeat offenders incarcerated for the extent of their sentences, especially if they were homeless, no matter how dim the prospects of rehabilitation for guys like this seem to sensible people. Way to go, judges and parole boards. Keep up the terrible work. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> the shadow knows. Hi guys, Media Shadow here. I'm trying to grow the channel and get videos out to you just as often as possible. What would really help me accomplish that would be to grow my subscriber numbers. So if you haven't yet and you're digging my content, please hit the subscribe button and that little bell icon to get notified for when all of my videos drop. And if you have already subscribed, please drop a comment hit the like button, and most importantly, share a video you enjoyed on social media or any dark crevice of the internet you fancy. Thanks! Uh, uh.